Welcome to the Muskegon Channel. It's Andy O'Reilly along with Kayla Myers, who is here with the Alzheimer's Association. And Dr. Bruno Giordani is coming back to make his annual visit to Muskegon to talk about some of the advancements as far as Alzheimer's disease goes. First of all, welcome. Thank you. I know for it's your first time me. here on the big camera. Yeah, and thank anybody you. you want to say hi to out there? Hi, Mom. Right? Hi, Mom. Have to yeah, say you guys that. say hi to Mom. <laughs> Everybody out there, sure. <laughs> you're, you're new to the Alzheimer's Association. Yep, I just started. Um, Back in February, actually, yeah. um, but prior to that, I was a volunteer for about four years in Grand Rapids. So, what, what's your personal connection to the Alzheimer's Association? Um, my grandfather was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease about four or five years ago. Yeah. So, um, when I went to Grand Valley, um, I joined a sorority whose main philanthropy was the Alzheimer's Association. So, just a lot of volunteer work with them. Fell in love with the organization that was so close to my heart and. So when I graduated from Grand Valley um, in event planning, I thought, why not put my um, degree towards something I love? Sure. So it was a perfect fit. Let me ask about Grandpa. Yes. Still with us? Yes, he is. Yeah? Yep. He, um, probably about middle stage, um, he's happy as a clam, though, yeah. you know? He doesn't remember who you are, but... Doesn't he really? No, but he's happy as a clam, and my grandma takes wonderful care of him. Yes, and, she um, all her kids help out. So it's, it you know, my I, I went through this with my grandfather, too. Oh, okay. And... Mm -hmm. You know, he was really, really, really advanced age when it started to settle in and hard. Yep. And it's, it, and you know, this is something that we talk about because of the personal connections that mm -hmm. more and more people are, are finding. And I mean, to see somebody as young as you that's having to see this, whereas I was, you know, quite a bit older, and I kind of watched the progression of this through my dad's eyes, mm -hmm. which was really difficult because here's my grandfather at 98, 99 years old asking my dad, you know, where's Pete? Right. And you know, it's like I'm, I'm Pete. It's me. And my grandfather's like, no, Pete's a little guy. He's about this mm -hmm. big. And you know, to see that kind of thing is is, is devastating. It's a it is. it's a horrible, it horrible is. progressive disease. It's more than just memory loss. You know, it's the loss of functions of everyday life. Sure. You know, movement, family relationships, um, perception, vision. Um, Speech, it's yeah. everything, and it affects the whole family. It's terrible. It's it's awful. I'm sorry you got to go through that. Well, thank you. know, life should be easier when you're your age. Yeah. <laughs> I don't right. want to it's try only. to come off like this this all-knowing old fart that you know knows what's going on. Yeah, no, it's terrible. It it's affects, tough. It's tough. You know, and there's early onset Alzheimer's. I met a man a few weeks ago um, who's 30 years old and has two kids under the age of four, and he was diagnosed. Wow. Yeah. Um, early onset is huge. I think there's. About 200,000 people in the country right now with early onset, which is um, crazy. Yeah, people 50 and younger. Crazy so, stuff. Terrible. All right, so let's get down to the talking points, which we've got here on our paper because we're <laughs> smart. We bring that's right. Bring talking points. <laughs> I, one thing I remember about last year when we talked about this event coming up at Tanglewood is the fact that this doctor, Bruno Giordani, mm -hmm. I got it right twice. Yes. Hey, look at me. <laughs> he is remarkably down to earth. And he is remarkably good at putting things into words people can understand. Absolutely. Because there's an awful lot of jargon that comes along with anything medical. Exactly. Yeah, so um, Dr. Giordani attended the Alzheimer's Association International Conference in London this past um, July and learned all of the latest research and findings with Alzheimer's disease. So he comes here and presented to us in a way that we can understand it um, and we can ask him questions and he can answer in a way that is understandable to everybody who doesn't know all those fancy sure. words. <laughs> sure. Um, but what time does this get underway? Yeah, so this is going to be um, this Thursday, which is August 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. here okay. at Tanglewood Park. Is there, um, uh, do you have any, any things, you know, you can highlight that he may be discussing as, as we get into it? Yeah, so not to give too much away. Well, but... I mean, you don't want to, but I mean, <laughs> yep. some of the highlights. So he is going to be talking about some of the findings that came out, um, such as, Pre preventative ways with Alzheimer's disease um, through diet, exercise, and social interactions that can actually prevent cognitive decline. Um, he'll be talking about different race and um, socioeconomic factors that can contribute. These all blend into this stuff. Yeah. Really. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he'll be talking about new tools and ways to help diagnose with Alzheimer's disease. And then, um, of course, is talking about our understanding and what we've learned about the disease in the brain itself. Is is the treatment and diagnosis of all this is is it world is it a worldwide balance or are there other countries that that do things differently than we do when it comes to the treatment and 
you know what I mean? Yeah, well, it's hard because Alzheimer's disease has no prevention, cure, or treatment at right, all. Right, Um. So the Alzheimer's Association is the leader in the um, world funding of Alzheimer's research. Okay. So we are definitely um, the front runner and leader in the world of Alzheimer's research. Sure, but there's no, I mean, you know, like in some countries they treat cancer one way and mm -hmm. other, you know, like that, but so far, it's yep. all kind of the same. Yep, we're all kind of the same. Yeah. Everybody's really open and cheering what they have. You know, everybody just wants a cure. Yeah. Wants to. It would, wants it would be amazing. Absolutely. Is there a cost involved? Nope, it's a free event. The only thing we ask is um, people um, pre-register ahead of time so okay. we can know our numbers. Um, so how they can do that is they can go to our website, alz.org. Okay. Put a link um, right here for that yes, too. Yes, MGLC. Or they can call our 800 number, which is 800. 272 3900 and just let them know I think they just need your name and your zip code and how many people are coming and that's it you've got some uh, other events coming up throughout the uh, the rest of the year too I know you've got the walks that go on the Alzheimer's yep. walks the, any of those dates ready yet or yep so the Muskegon walk is um, Saturday September 23rd a couple of months to get in shape for that yep um, Do it. Right, right down at Heritage Landing um, the other one we have around here is the Luddington walk to Alzheimer's which is September 16th okay, um, at Waterfront Park Awesome so stuff. we'd love to have people out for those. They're going to be really fun. Um, Muskegon, we have around 500 people who come. Really? So it's, a, it's an amazing event. It's really amazing. Awesome stuff. Yeah. I think you did pretty good. Well, thank you. For a first time college kid coming <laughs> out. Look at you. Awesome. I try. I try. They prep me good. <laughs> That's how it goes, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Kayla Myers from the Alzheimer's Association. All the details are going to be right here on the Muskegon channel. Make sure you come on out and hear this great talk. If it's something that's affected your family, a little information for that. If it's something that could affect your family and chances are it won't be long until you've got somebody or someone around you that's been touched by this come on out and learn it thursday night right here kayla best of luck on your Thank career you. i hope you keep that smile through i mean that's what we need young people that get involved and uh, keep themselves busy in great causes like alzheimer's disease thursday night right over here at tanglewood park